Yeah, some folks are nervous when they go get COVID testing, so some places offer the self swabbing option. Well, it appears that method isn't as accurate as it should be. If you've ever had one of the tests done, you know, it makes your eyes water. If you ask, it's almost certain a great majority of people tested for COVID-19 will tell you the test may be many things, but it is not comfortable. Sticking a six inch cotton swab through the nose may cause a bit of pain, but it's proving to be the most effective in the hands of a licensed health professional. It has to be a deep pharyngeal nasal swab uh, to get an accurate test. CDC guidelines call for the swab to be at least one centimeter inside the nose and held there for about 15 seconds. John Wagner with Monroe County Health Department says problems are arising as some health professionals are allowing people to swab themselves. If you've gone to a testing site and you've been asked to swab yourself, unless there's been some detailed instructions on how to do it and how deep to go, you're probably not doing it properly. The health administrator says that's what he believes happened in his county. To Wagner's understanding, a nursing home worker got tested twice at a Metro East facility by self-swabbing and both tests came back negative. It wasn't until that person allowed a health official to do the test when it was revealed the person tested positive and potentially could have had coronavirus the entire time. The last thing we want is positives running around thinking that they're negative, you know. Uh, that would be a sure way to really spread this quickly. With 12 deaths and 125 confirmed cases in Monroe County, the health administrator has heightened concerns. As Illinois moves into the fourth phase and more businesses begin to open up, Wagner is worried a resurgence could come from neglect more so than the natural spread of COVID. You should be taking every precaution possible when you're out in public uh, to protect yourself. And of course, like we've been saying for weeks, months now, there are several free COVID-19 testing locations. Of course, as soon as we find out more, we will pass that along to you. But now live here in the Metro East, Darion Henderson, Fox 2 News.